I'll lead you through our very quick warm up and then we'll go straight to the lesson. Is that okay? Okay, what's one, two, three? All right, let's go. So, everybody around, circle. Copy them, so. Collar sleeve. Most people would play cross collar, right? Cross collar. They put the lasso here, foot on the hip, foot here. For tonight, we're gonna focus more on transitions from same side collar. Why? There's a difference because if I control just this side, I can just mostly isolate this side. But if I also control this other shoulder with the proper grips, like my foot here, I can control both sides of his upper body. Even if he tries to posture, I can hang on more into him. Versus this side, he can just sacrifice his arm, he can posture. I don't have the other shoulder because I'm loaded here on his left shoulder, on his right shoulder rather. So, so tonight we'll be focusing more with the same side collar grip. So it's more in transitions from Half lasso, the lahiva, still with the same side. Because in jiu-jitsu, the more that you don't switch grips, especially if in, you're in a sequence, the better chances of you winning. Why? Because the moment that I always keep switching my grips, always keep switching with, you know, but it's not efficient, and he has more of a chance to win or figure out my sequence. But the moment that I keep my grips the same as much as I can until I get a finish, or still the same. The more that you have the same grips, the better chances of you winning. So, as much as possible, this is how I look at jiu-jitsu. You're more efficient when you don't switch grips as much as you can. So, for tonight, that's what we'll focus on. So the first grips we'll do, the first position we'll, position we'll do, is the same side collar grip with my right hand, and left hand will be grabbing the sleeve. So here. So we'll be going some concepts with this one. So the first position, position is this one. So from here, normally what they would do, they would unwind this lasso. Yeah, they try to unwind. So from here, this is the normal new, new ones that you, you encounter and unwind. So he's gonna wanna circle out this hand. So if they do this here, normally what you should do is just pull it off. So from the first position, we'll start with people with the same side collar grip and the left sleeve. We have to feel the position so that we're comfortable enough to work through it. Okay, so here tries to posture up. I hang on to him here. Step on the hip. Raise my raise my leg here in my hip. So this is the control. You want your your foot to be by the hip or by the shoulder. If he postures up more, I have to be by the shoulder. I'm always pulling with this grip. I never let him stand up here because if I let him stand up, he's gonna break this grip. So try gonna break this grip and it's gonna be much harder for me but of course we can still troubleshoot so the focus of this hand is to always make him post like pulling him over it's not just pulling him towards me here this does nothing especially if my knees here unless I have an attack but if my purpose is to off balance it's always a row upwards like an up uh, like a high pull so always off balancing it helps if my foot and my my shin is back behind his armpit so sign up it's always how I off balance. Even if I have a De La Hiva here, it's how I will off balance as well. Like this helps him bring his whole weight and the shoulder here. Again, right hand, that's what you'll be focusing on. Left hand will be holding the sleeve. So because if he tries to stack, I can always pull, push him with this and go back. He'll try to anchor here, half lasso. Even if you're in a De La Hiva, you can do this, half lasso. Even if you're holding the pants, this grip helps a lot. Flasso. So here. All right, let's start with this position first. So, right hand, same side collar. De La Hiva for half lasso. Or it can also be on the hip. But of course, here he, he wouldn't want to stay. So he's going to unwind his hand or he's going to try to put his, yeah, over. That's why you always want to keep pulling this here. This one always towards the floor. All right? Everyone got that? Yes. So basically, this is forming a wall. So, parang, parang wall siya. Parang yeah, wall. yeah. You have a gap here. Yeah. Sign up, so. Because if I'm here, yeah, you can still press there, but I like this control better here. I need shield, better shield, uh, shield, shield. 
Yeah, it's like you're resting his chest on your shin. So when he tries to posture up, I can control here. This helps as a wedge because he needs the shoulder to posture up. There you go, stand up. That's why here I like this one. And when he postures up, that's when it's This one. Because even in San Diego, we'll see how they load people is with same side collar. Someone like this one here, normally they're either gonna posture up or break the collar grip first. So when he postures up, switch to the Lehiva and load him more. Or same thing. If you have them here, they're posturing up. Even if you have the collar and pant tip, just do the same thing. And then you can enter your single leg X from here. Or you can go straight to a sweep. But that's for that's for later. So we're gonna focus more on this concept here. He tries to smash me, I'm gonna use the half lasso. Smash, try to go. Try to go into me. Put pressure. We're gonna use the half lasso. Go again. See how you're raising your hips and you're you're using this to fend off a forward attack. But the moment that he postures up, I switch to a deliva. Why? Because when he postures up, he's gonna have a chance to hold my legs. And he can step over, he can do his long, long passing. But as long as my knees don't face one way, the half lasso is safe. So even if he's gonna be here on the side, as long as I have this, I'm safe. But the moment that my knees both turn the same way, it's no longer strong because there's no more leverage. So if he, if he push, puts me in a side smash here, this no longer works. That's why I don't want, one, I don't want him to close my legs together. Even if he steps over, this fine. No, step over. So I can always use this to get it out. This is, this is like a safety net for me. So they step over, lose it, even if one hand. I'll try again. So that's what this is for. It's like, like a safety net. But it's not mostly for an attack unless you have a deep lasso like this. So this is more of a safety net or uh, like a place where you can transition. I can use it to go to the lehiva or I can use it to set up a And it's, but mostly it's for a safety net. So when he steps over again, when they press into you, frame, raise my hip with this. Okay, again. Frame, raise my hip. Okay. But when he postures up, I oh know, sorry, yeah, when he postures up, I have to use the Delahiva. Because if he postures up with my half lasso, it doesn't really do anything. It's just holding him there. But when he postures up, see how much space he has and he can circle his hand out start doing long passing, I'm in trouble there. So the moment that you feel that they're strong, they're gonna posture up, switch to a Deliheva. And then from here, if you have the luxury of time, you can switch or stay here, load them. At least they're closer here. Okay, so two new ones is, they stand up, they stand up, switch to the Deliheva, load. Or they press into you, you try to step over, use the half lasso side, okay? And if they unwind it, unwind the hand, break it. Again, unwind, unwind your leg and go back, okay? So we'll, we'll go to the other side of this guard. So we're gonna do more submission. So, so from here, get a bridge up, step on the bicep, so you can even, do, you can even use this guard for triangles, so really good triangles here. Or if you don't want to plot us, so. So half lasso, foot across the sh uh, shin across the chest. You can even do it like connected because when they try to posture, it's even stronger. You're, you're one whole structure, you're connected. So they posture to lehiva. But in the event that they don't posture, they try to fight you from here. Step on the... You go from here, frame, step on the bicep, catch the bicep with your foot. Notice how my foot and my knee is flared inwards. Why? Because if it's, if it's open like this, he can just swim, swim in and my, my grip will be useless. So I always have to close my knee like this. So if I do that, it's harder for him to circle his, his hand in. So pushing on the crook of the elbow, notice that we try to get this point here. Some people, they step on the shoulder, but 
I, f I feel it safer if you, you do it by the crease of the elbow on this one. Where you, do, where you do a bicep curl, you feel it. So next, close the knee, grab the collar. Then from here, he'll, he'll try to connect his knee with his elbow. So what I'll do, what you do, unwind it. Even if it's nice knee in his elbow, I'm gonna push on the hip, sit up a bit, but notice that if I'm setting up, I have to be pulling him. Because if not, if I'm not pulling him, he can just use this to uh, take advantage of my position. So, always keep yourself tight even when you're extending. So in the event here, from a half lasso, he's gonna connect his knee and his elbow. I step on the hip, I step on the hip, so this way. So from here, step on the hip, I push, and then I put my hip under again. It's not like just pushing and then reaching from here. Because notice I'm already in a stretch, posi stretch position. So what I do is like, I'm gonna leg press him, bring my hips under, see how he's already falling forward? But instead of loading him, I move my hips. Then you finish your triangle from there. So again, from that same half lasso position that we, that we did, we, we frame, step on the bicep, close the knee, connect, connect his knee and elbow, squat down a bit. Push, bring my hips inside. Then triangle. From here, grab the shin. Boom, triangle. So next, what we'll be doing is we'll, we're gonna be cycling from same side, same side collar and half lasso with the sleeve to a spider on this side, to a tarantula guard. So how I usually do it is from here, still the same grips. You think you're gonna do a triangle. So instead of pushing on the hip, I just go under. I even put my knee here. So one knee down, one leg pushing up. They're gonna posture. When they posture, that's when I switch. So I can be here, or I can be pulling here. So I don't know if some of you guys do tarantula, but stand up please. But when they posture from here, it's actually easier to, to be able to break their posture. So posture please. See how I'm already underneath. That's why I always like the hips underneath. Because if the hips are underneath and not far, I'm not fighting him from, where something, uh, from a position where I have to sit up. If I'm always underneath, even if he postures up, I just scoot my hips underneath. So I'm using more of my weight and more leverage. So he's carrying my whole body with his back. So even if he postures up, I'm gonna be underneath here. So. You okay? <laughs> I'm heavy, sorry. <laughs> so half lasso, same side collar, frame, foot in the bicep. But then from here, he's gonna, he's gonna try to unwind this for sure. When he unwinds it, he can go to the hip. So unwind. When he unwinds it, remember a while ago we were doing this. Bring it back. Wind it. Now we can do pull, step on the hip. So we have one in the bicep, one in the hip. Because if both were, if uh, if both were above, like he can just push into me and stack me. He can put his arm under and stack me, right? So we want to prevent that. Having a good guard means that you're you're aware if one leg is over, one leg is under. So what's under and over? This over, this under. He has to go underneath to be able to stack. This one, he has to unwind outside. So always be aware of what grips you give or where your hooks are always at. So this one is under, he has to step over this one. Right, so this one is under, this one is over. That's why this is secure. One is over, one is under. Left leg, left sleeve, uh, left hand, it's over. This one is under. This one is pulling. So if both are here, he can just step back and do a toriand or step out, right? So that's why I like this one because even if I stepped over this one, I can save myself with this. So having a good guard means you're aware where your hooks are, what's over, what's one's over, one's under. Not being both under because he can step over and do the quick passes or if it's both over, he can just go under and stack me. See? This is what you want to prevent. Okay. So, one under, one over. Same thing. And then here. So, 
stitch. So again, even if your posture is up, one is over, one is under. Any questions, guys? So this is just a more of a transition. I'm gonna drill the transitions between this position and this one. Okay, so you can start from here. So from here, normally what they will try to do is they'll try to break this collar grip first. Okay, so the moment that they stand up, I put my hips underneath them again. Try to stand up again. The moment here tries to stand up or squats down, I make it a point that I have to off balance him. I want him to always post in his hand because it's the hand the only thing is the only thing that I'm not controlling from his upper body. I have his posture and I have this bicep here. Because he'll try to he'll try to even like uh, close his elbow here. Close. No, no, elbow on the lats. Close El your elbow. Elbow on the rats. Lats here. Okay, here. Yeah. So he'll try to do that, but I can always stretch him out with this. And most people who play tarantula, they either step on here, they step here, or they'll even step on the bicep again. But I don't like stepping here so much if I have this as an over because he can go under and then he can stack. I don't like this one. That's why when I have a spider here, I just want to be pulling this one. And this one, I just have to watch out. He'll usually step over this one, but it's okay because if he steps over, I can just off balance him again and bring that foot out. So the job of this foot is to always make sure that it's off balancing him. Again, there, putting my hips under. He's gonna posture up again. Gonna put my hips under, load him. So we're all, I'm always gonna be chasing him. He's gonna always, he's going to, he's going to be more tired than I am because I'm using more of my weight to just to follow him. Stand up. He's gonna posture up. He's he's either gonna posture up or squat down. So the moment that he also I'm trying to squat down the way. You're more stable there. Yeah. Oh, here I can just do the triangle here. I'm very strong here. So the moment that one knee's down, one knee's up. This is so strong for me that. Inevitable, I'll, inevitably, I'll get the triangle. So normally, they'll squat down with yeah, this side. So, and here, he's going to be watching out for the triangle here. He's going he's gonna to be putting his, hip, his hands on the hip. So I can just stretch him out here and then raise it again. So always. So he's really going to try to posture up. That's the only, that's the only defense that they'll have. If, if someone plays a good tarantula guard, they only have to posture up. Because here, try to block the triangle right. Close your, close your elbow like this. Yeah, he can block the triangle here. That's why if he does that, I have to load him. See how it opens it up when I load him? Posture up. Always off balancing. So this right leg has to be really busy. So this shin is going to go across. The foot is going to go in the armpit. So you're using your whole body to um, put yourself underneath. Which is a concept I, I feel like we should emphasize more on because it uses less strength and it uses more of your body weight instead. So the more muscles that you use into a move and your structure is solid, the more efficient you are. So stand up. So this is not just me using my, just my arms like I'll tire myself out. It's me using my hips and my weight so that I put my hips under and I use my whole body. Okay? So again, let's show. So transition is from half lasso, put on the bicep, step on the hip, raise your hip, spider guard, and here. He's going to posture, load him. And then when he posts his hand on the floor, this one you can go for your attack, your triangle. Again. Because from here, yeah, I can hit the triangle, but he's still going to be aware. So I want to be able to make him post, see how much how much space I have here. Like, even when he tries to posture up, if I raise my hip, I can already get there. So it's about having yourself ready for an attack when it's there. So I'm here, I load him, see how much space I have to travel. But since I'm raising my hips and I have his posture, his hands open, I can get the triangle easier. Anyone need to see it again? Thank you.
Awesome class, guys. Good job today, everyone. One, two, 